In this video, I'm going to write a C program that's going to check whether two words are anagrams or not. So we would say that the word listen is an anagram of silent, because we could rearrange the letters of listen to get silent, and vice versa. We don't really care about case when we're talking about anagrams, so we don't really care about uppercase or lowercase. We could also say that two words are anagrams if they have the same count of each letter. So like if listen has the same number of L-I-S-T-E-N characters as silent, we would also say that they're anagrams. So let's make the test words here. We'll say car W1 is equal to listen, and then car W2 is equal to silent. And we'll use these as our test words because we know that they're anagrams. Then we'll say here bool check anagram, and we're gonna accept two strings as arguments to this function here. There are two words there, word one and word two. And the function is gonna return a bool because words are either anagrams or they're not. So we're gonna return true if they are and false if they're not. Because we're using the bool type here, we're gonna have to include stdbool.h because that allows us to use bool true and false variables in C. And then we're also gonna include the string.h library because that includes the string length function, which is gonna be helpful. And we're gonna include the C type library because that has a function called to lower that's gonna allow us to lower the letter to lowercase, whether it's lowercase or not already, it's gonna lower it to lowercase. And we can use that to help us more easily compare these strings as well. So we'll provide a definition of the function down here. We'll say bool check anagram. And the first thing we're gonna do is get the length of each word. We'll say int len1 is equal to the string length of one w1 there, and int len2 is equal to the string length of w2. Because we're gonna have to check each character in each word here. And so we're gonna have to go through each string here one character at a time, and getting the length of each of them is gonna help with that. Now the way we're gonna solve this problem of checking whether the words are anagrams or not, is we're gonna keep a count of each letter from A to Z in each word. So we're gonna keep a count of like how many A's, B's, C's, and so forth occur in W1, and then the same count for W2. And then we're gonna do a comparison, and if those counts are the same, we know they're anagrams. If they're not, we know they're not anagrams. So we'll make these two count arrays here. We'll say here int W1 LC for like letter count. We'll say 26 is equal to zero. And then int W2 letter count 26 is equal to zero. So we'll initialize all the counts off at zero. And then we'll do the count of word one here first. So we'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than the number of letters in the first word there, i plus plus. So we're gonna look at each letter in the word here from zero up until the length of the word. Now, if we're gonna keep a count into this sort of 26 element array here, we wanna think about how ASCII characters work. So in ASCII, each letter here has some associated integer value here. So A has the value 97, F has the value 102, K has the value 107. And if we wanna store into that 26 element interray a count for each one of these characters here, what we can do is we can shift over the actual character that we've got in the string that we're gonna be looking at in that loop by 97. So we're gonna subtract the value of A. We're gonna subtract 97 to shift it over. So that way the weight, the worth of that character is going to be whatever that character is minus A. So like if we're looking at a character F here and we subtract A, that's gonna give us five, right? And we can then use that to store at index five the count of F characters. So I'll show you what I mean here. We'll say here int lower is equal to two lower w at i. So the first thing we'll do is we'll make sure the character we're looking at, whatever it is, is the lowercase version of that character. And then to increment the count, we're gonna say here w1 letter count, and we'll say lower minus a plus plus. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna take the current value of that character, whatever it is, like 106, 108, and we're gonna minus the value of A, which is 97. That's gonna have the effect of shifting over this number to be a number between zero and 25. And then we're gonna take that index from zero to 25, and we're gonna increment it by one to keep a count of that character. 
And then we're gonna do the same thing for W2. We're gonna do the same thing for the second word. We're gonna say here, okay, W2, let's go up to the length of W2. We'll look at here W2's character here, and we're gonna increment the W2 count here, okay? And then we're gonna have in W1 letter count and W2 letter count, a count of each letter. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna compare those counts. If even one of the counts is different, they're not anagrams and we'll return false. If they're all the same, we can return true because that means they have the same number of each letter. So we'll say here, for int i is equal to zero, i is less than 26, i plus plus. If the w1 letter count at i doesn't equal the w2 letter count at i, return false because they're not the same, they're not anagrams. But if we get through all of the letters, from zero up until you know 25 here, not including 26, then you know we've done all these comparisons here and we, we haven't found any differences, then at that point we know they're anagrams and we return true. So let's actually test this function now. We'll say here, if check anagram w1 and w2 is true, we'll print f that they're anagrams, else, We'll print f not anagrams okay so let's compile this and see we compile it here and then we run it and we get that they're anagrams let's say they weren't though let's say maybe there is an extra t here with silent so we'll do a compilation run it and see and we get not anagrams and so here we've got a c program that can check to see if two words are anagrams or not Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.